Hello everyone, in this video we want to take a look at Packager 327 configure a basic uh, WLAN on the uh, WLC WLC is a, a modem here, is a router and uh, you should verify to connection wireless LAN controller and explain some information about that and configure also uh, WLAN on wireless LAN controller and implement security and configure a wireless host to connect a wireless uh, LAN. First, uh, we should check part one, monitor the double WLC, go to the desktop admin PC. This is on admin PC here. Yes. And and open a browser here, desktop, and open a browser. This is browser here. Can you see? Yes, browser. And enter the IP, the management IP address of w, WLC1 from the addressing table into the address bar. You must specify the HTTPS protocol. Okay, we should use HTTPS uh, protocol and what is the IP address of WLC1? This is IP address here for WLC1. This is management IP address. And we should create HTTPS. And you can have access to a wireless LAN controller. Click on login and enter the uh, credentials, username admin and password should be, this is uh, access to wireless uh, WLC or uh, modem uh, and also password is here, Cisco123 and login. Okay, now we have access to this modem. After a short delay, you will see the WLC monitor summary screen. You can see monitor summary screen here and some information about, for example, what is the IP address management here and what is the also IP version 6 and software version and uh, different information here. Packagers does not support, okay, scrolled through the monitor summary screen. And what can be learned from this screen? Uh, a lot of uh, information can be found here, including uh, operation information and also about WLC, also information about uh, uh, known access points and connected uh, clients and RAG APS and clients that have been detected to the network. This is, this can you also uh, get from controller summary here. And is WLC connected to an AP? Yes, WLC connected to one AP. This is shown in the access point summary here. You can see access point summary and you can see one of them is up. And this WLC connected to AP. And also click detail detail next to the all APs. Yes. This was here. Click, uh, click, neck, uh, click detail next to the all APs entry in the access point summary here, section of the page. And what information can you find from here? Click on it. 
you can see APC name. This is lab one, for example. And also you can see IP address of this AP. And what is the model? What is MAC address of this AP and admin status and uh, some information you can see here and also device model, software version, operational um, status and also power source you can see. Okay. Um, Now we, uh, you, you will learn create a new wireless LAN on the WLC. You will configure the settings that are required for us to join the WLAN. Okay, in this part. Click WLANs in the WLC here, menu bar, and locate the drop down here and click on go. We should create new. And name should be floor to employees. And it should be also SSID. It is the name of your Wi-Fi in the Wi-Fi list. You can see, for example, SSID uh, 5 here and click on also select a value 5 ID should be 5 and click on apply okay And now that the WLAN has been created, you can configure features of the network. Click Enabled to make the WLAN functional. It's a common mistake to accidentally skip this step. OK. This is enabled. You should mark it. This is status. And uh, choose the w uh, choose vlan choose vlan interface that will be used for the for the wlan we should put wlan and set wlan uh, in the vlan the wlc will use the interface for this user on uh, the for user traffic on the network click the drop down box for interface group okay we should Click here, enable first, and after that, you should click on interface group. Which interface? This is uh, WLAN 5 because our ID was 5. And click on apply again. Now we have put uh, this WLAN in the uh, VLAN uh, 5, uh, WLAN 5 and uh, click advanced tab okay and scroll down to the felix connect portion of the page click to enable first advance after that you should go here what is the felix connect here this is felix connect and click on enable and also enable for local switching and local authentication mode and click on apply and click on OK. Okay. It's a step to secure the WLAN. Now we have can configure WLAN and set it in the, uh, in the uh, and put it in the VLAN and now we should uh, take a look at an address uh, secure uh, WLAN. In the WLAN edit name, yes, edit, uh, 
edit a screen for the floor to employees double then click the security tab under the layer 2 this is layer 2 select which layer 2 security what do you need this is WPA WPA2 there are also many there are so different uh, security mode here and also you should click on WPA2 policy and PS Co is authentication key management. This is in, uh, in parameter and in feature to uh, create uh, authentication key and management. Uh, yes, and you also uh, PS Co should be Cisco one two three as a pass uh, pass phrase. This is a uh, pre-share key that we should use, uh, that uh, we should create, and it, it will be used by host to join WLAN here. You should click on Control v and click on Apply again. Yes, here, and OK. Uh, yes, this is a security also mode and uh, verify setting. After applying the configuration, click back. This will, be, this will take you back to the WLANs screen. What information? Click on back, hello, or back here, excuse me. And uh, what information about the new LAN, VLAN and WLAN is available for this screen? You can see here. This is WLAN. This is WLAN name on under profile name and also WLAN SSID that user and host can see in the Wi in the Wi-Fi list. This is here. And in part three, connect a host to the WLAN because we have configured it. If you uh, we should also check here if you click the WLAN ID yes uh, you will be taken to the WLAN edit screen use this to verify and change details of the screen you can click on it but it doesn't work for us also it's it's a blue yes no works it's a little delay and you can see uh, also you can edit some uh, information and security and general that we have already configured and it's yes it's uh, it's available for us and uh, in part three we should connect uh, to the network and verify connectivity go to the uh, desktop of wireless host and click the what is wireless host here this is wireless host go to wireless host and after that desktop mode and click click the pc wireless this is pc wireless this is like a hot uh, uh, wi-fi you should activate wi-fi here uh, click the connect tab yes and you can see ssid uh, from your Wi-Fi list. It's like a Wi-Fi list in your mobile telephone or in your computer. Uh, on the packages, it, is, it has been simulated uh, like this. This is Wi-Fi list and uh, click on connect. We should connect it. And uh, what was uh, our pre-shared key? Uh, yes, we have selected this one and enter the pressure key that you configure the WLAN connected. It was this Cisco 1, 2, 3 and click on connect here. Yes. Uh, and connect again. Yes. 
it was so there yeah yes refresh and yes uh, click the link information again tab uh, you should see a message that confirms that you have successfully connected to the access point. You can see here link quality and signal uh, is okay. And also you can see you have successfully connected to the access point. And uh, click uh, on more information here. And you can see also your radio bound, your wireless network name. This is SSID 5 and uh, some information like your IP address. This is your IP address uh, that you get from uh, uh, from uh, Wi-Fi or from a modem or router, wireless router, and also here. And uh, right now you can come back here from wireless host. This is wireless host, and you can see also uh, the wave between lab one access points. This is access point and uh, wireless host and this is your uh, main modem and router and this access point and uh, from wireless host ping the WLAN default gateway and the server to verify the laptop uh, has full connectivity. You can go to command prompt here and right here ping and you can see um, from WLAN, oh, ping the WLAN, WLAN default gateway. What is WLAN default gateway? First, uh, a wireless host can we see here, we have get IP address. This is our IP address here. And we should go to command prompt here and ping This is IP address of our server here. Can we ping our server? Yes. And you can, you can ping it, ping it your server and also a default gateway here. This is also WLC1 IP address management. You can also ping oh we cannot uh, yes we can also we can also ping WLC1 here from uh, wireless host this server we have ping and this WLC, we have ping and also admin PC. Uh, thank you for watching and please uh, subscribe me and support.